In this video, we want to look at how to create a credit memo. And the process for recording a credit memo is the same as entering an invoice, but the type must be credit memo and the amount must be negative. So that's the main difference. So first I'm going to go back to my batch. So invoices, entry, invoice batches. I'm going to search for my batch f11 batch name eye -E. so let me just do percentage eye -E percentage control f11 so eye -E batch 01 invoices so that's my invoice that i created earlier on so i'm going to go to the next line and the type is going to be credit memo trading partner so payable default payment terms from pay supplier side to the invoice and verify the payment terms for debit credit and debit memos so you may want to change the terms for imme to immediate for credit and debit memos and that should allow that will allow us to take the credit and debit memos immediately so click on ok shift f5 to copy same supplier and my invoice number is going to be called as dash cm dash one zero 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 and the amount is one sorry it's going to be minus minus one zero six nine and that's my negative amount and in the description this is going to be utility refund and payment terms for this needs to be immediate you can see that and now let's go to lines to enter some line information amount is minus 1000 and then we just want to very quickly look at the distributions um, I'm going to use a distribution set so just to show you what that is with a distribution set, you can predetermine what the what the account code is going to be. So, I'm going to use one called Utilities Full. So that's the one full distribution set. Click on OK, and that's what I'll be using. So let's save the information. And I'm going to go to distributions just for you to review the distributions that have been created based on the template. And you can see that it's been distributed to different accounts based on the template that we've already created. So let's close this. And I'm going to go into my actions and validate. Click on OK. And now we can see that it's validated. So I can save this. And that's how to create an invoice and a credit memo in a batch. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.